It is estimated that around 10 million people in the UK are living with migraine. Migraine can be very debilitating and can significantly affect a person's quality of life. Pharmaceutical company Pfizer is committed to helping improve the lives of people with migraine by raising awareness of the impact of the condition on individuals and society and supporting research and education. Migraine is the second biggest cause of short-term absence for non-manual employees in the UK. But it remains a misunderstood condition, often casually dismissed as just a headache. There are well-defined stages to a migraine attack, and it's these stages that distinguish this brain disorder from a headache. For example, one in three people might experience the aura stage, with neurological symptoms including visual disturbances like dark spots or flashing lights. There may also be speech difficulties or cognitive changes. There might also be a premonitory or warning stage, such as feeling tired or mood changes. You might notice unusual food cravings or feeling thirsty. The main attack stage involves moderate to severe head pain, made worse by movement, with possible sensitivity to light or sound. More than 40 million workdays are lost every year because of migraine, with an impact of as much as £10 billion annually. I've had what I would describe as three episodic migraines, during which I was curled up in a ball with my head in my hands for three to four hours, simply because it hurt too much to move. The migraines that I've had, I've experienced the visual auras, so the flashing lights, and you really can't do anything while that's happening because you, you can't see to do anything. And then knowing that the headache's coming after that with the nausea, and it just wipes you out. And I'll, even afterwards, just so tired. Um, and it's, it's a whole day event. The science and the understanding of what causes migraine has really progressed immensely. There are a number of neurotransmitters, so chemical substances that are released from a nerve in the face and head that could be the cause of the headache itself. We know it has a big genetic component, which is very important, and that can make migraine sufferers more susceptible to some environmental changes, for example, lack of sleep or skipping meals or dehydration. So it's quite a complex um, disease pathway for migraine. Pfizer is committed to raising awareness of the effect migraine has on people and the economy. The company provides educational activities to help healthcare professionals understand the issue alongside its own research. It also sponsors independent research projects. The Migraine Trust is one of the patient groups working with Pfizer to ensure it is catering for the needs of the migraine community that's more than 10 million people, with some of them chronically affected. Affects them in terms of being able to work, in terms of their relationships, often living in severe, long-term debilitating pain and really struggling, in the worst cases, to be able to just uh, live an active and normal life the way that all of us would like to. So one of the things that the Migraine Trust is working very hard to do is to raise awareness of migraine in the workplace, both to support employees, but to think about companies and how they can support their employees. Employees can access a toolkit advising them how to have those difficult conversations with employers, who in turn can get advice on how best to empathise. Pfizer believes there are clear priorities for better treatment. I think really the priority areas are twofold. The first is timely and correct diagnosis of migraine, because we know that a lot of patients who suffer from migraine have to see their doctor sometimes several times before they get the, the diagnosis. We know that we have fewer neurologists in this country than some other European countries and their clinics are very overwhelmed and quite often neurology clinics are quite far away from where people live. So moving it to primary care with the support for GPs and the care pathways would mean a, a, a better patient journey. More accurate diagnosis and awareness means the condition being taken more seriously in the workplace. We're seeing menopause and mental health talked about more in an open way, 
better understood, people are more comfortable talking about it, people understand it a little bit more, although there's some way to go. That's where we need to get to with migraine. So we've got to break down those stigmas. If we can get more employees supporting their colleagues, everybody wins.